7 p.m. Eastern Time, which means it is time for a video on YouTube. And that's why I've gone live here. That makes perfect sense, right? All right, let me just double check that we're transmittalating off to the left. It's still saying we're waiting. Let's see what we got. Nope, it looks like it's working. I'm out there. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now it's live. Okay, perfect. All right, I hope y'all are having a great weekend. Hi, Rosie, how are you? Hope things are going well over there in the Dakotas and that you're not too cold. We were outside today shifting between light hoodie and t-shirt, depending on how hard we were working. Hi, Karen. We're renovating the... Uh... So apparently our garden is going to be one of those every year we're going to do something different to it. So this year we moved... Today, we moved all of the blueberries out of their containers and into our new garden beds. So that's kind of cool. Hey, Jean, uh, your, the uh, paper pumpkin came today. So I will be sending you an email soon. Uh, Marva, hey, Christina, Karen, Mary, Mary, Lenny, appreciate y'all joining. Okay, here is the card I am going to be making tonight. Now, you will recognize this as a corner pop up fun fold. And um, I've done one before like this, and it became clear to me, it was pointed out to me a couple of times, and I finally did something about it, that I had really borked the written measurements in the blog. So, uh, yesterday, I made another one out of printer paper so that I could get the directions right, and then I thought, well, you know what, I'm just going to make one because why not? Because they're kind of fun. And uh, I figured I would have a second opportunity, you know, a mulligan, if you will, on the uh, <laughs> on doing the blog post right. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to get that little bit of glue off. I had a little bit of glue there. Okay. This uses the In Bloom stamp set and the Pierced Blooms dies. This is no longer a bundle. Um, I don't think. No, nope, it's not a bundle anymore, but you can get them separately. And one thing to tell you that's uh, important to tell you is that this is another one of those die sets that works with the mini stamp and cut and embossing machine. Hi, hey, Brooke. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Denise. Thank you. I love the colors on this one. A couple of my team members uh, made have made cards in the last week using this, and it kind of reminded me how cute these flowers are. And so I went just a little crazy. <laughs> I've cut a bunch of Daffodil Delight, a bunch of Mango Melody, and then my favorite green ever, uh, Granny Apple Green for all of the leaves. And then I paired it up with black, and to me, this is one heck of a cool color combination. I really, really like it. So let's get started. Now, I'm going to do this because just in case I bork the blog post again, I want you to be able to see some measurements, okay? So this is the card base measurement. It's black, and that says five and a half by eight and a half, and I'm going to score it at two and an eighth, and again at four and a quarter, and then all of my mats are Mango Melody, and you can see that list there, and then the DSP, I've used Pattern Party. That's the host uh, DSP that you can get right now. It's in the annual catalog. So with about a $180 order or so, you can get that for free. Alrighty. So let's uh, get started. And I've done all the cutting ahead of time. With any luck, it's even right. So here is my five and a half by eight and a half piece of basic black. And I'm going to get that little piece out. And I am going to first cut it not cut it, not cut it. Do not cut it, Mary. I'm going to score it at two and one eighth inches, like so. Hey, Lori, thank you. And then I am going to slide it down and score it again at four and one quarter, like a so. Okay, so we'll put this aside. We're gonna need it again in just a second, but not quite yet. <clears throat> so then we're going to um, fold as normal, try to make things, I mean, I know that we all try to make things fold straight when you were just making your everyday cards, but when you're making a fun fold, it's really, really even more important. Okay, so then we'll fold this back like so and give it a score. So you can see really, it's just as default, right? That's all this really is. The magic happens by the way you mat and where you put some fun um, 
some fun triangles and squares. Okay, so here's all of my DSP cut. And then I've got Mango Melody squares. So my Mango Melody squares, I have two by two, two two by twos, and two one and, wait, let me be sure I'm saying it right, one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. The one and seven eighths squares are gonna go on the front and they're each going to have a DSP of one and three quarters by one and three quarters. I used all the same DSP all the way through. It makes it much simpler to tell you about it, and it makes it, I think it's kind of cool because it really lets those flowers pop. Now these two, the two by two, they are going to end up being cut into triangles, and then I have two more pieces of one and three quarters by one and three quarters of the Pattern Party DSP that will also be cut in triangles, and they're gonna go on the back. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that right quick. So to do this, you take your, let me just be sure I'm cutting the correct ones, cause you know, okay, two by twos. All you have to do is put the point of the square up in this little channel here, and there's two little shoulders that just hold it perfectly, and then put the point down in the channel down there, and then cut like so. And we will repeat that to make these two triangles. Um, this is also a really good DSP pattern because it doesn't have an up and a down. Really doesn't matter how that's gonna work. Okay, now, I mentioned I was gonna t also make triangles out of two of the one and three quarters by one and three quarters pieces of the DSP. And so we'll go ahead and do that. And then we'll do a little bit of glue-fying and we'll be ready to go. And I just realized I did not cut one piece of cardstock, but that's okay. Let me, let me do that right quick, like a bunya. And that is going to be, let's see, let's see, let's see. We're gonna be using this one. So this is a one and seven eight, or two and seven eight. So I'm gonna have a two and three quarters by two and three quarters piece of basic white. Hang on just a minute. Let me, let me fix it up here so I don't, oh yes, here we go. This must have been what I planned on using, right? Sure, let's go with that. Sure, Mary, just agree with me, you guys. All right, two and three quarters by two and three quarters. Come on now, get on there, okay. There we go. All right. I'm pretty sure that'll be the only mistake I make tonight. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I know. I know that's really funny, guys, because you know that's not likely to be true. All right. Oh, here we go. Thanks, Rosie. Thanks for telling everybody where that is. It is really a fun set of dies. really, really is. Okay, now we're going to start a little bit of matting and adherizing here. So I'm going to use a little liquid glue and adhere these panels. These are going on the front of our card on the two Z pieces, if you will. Yeah, you should have seen me making this with uh, with my printer paper. I was like, I'm writing on it, cardstock, DSP, because I really annoyed myself by screwing that up in the blog post so bad and the PDF, and I think I have it all fixed now, but one really never knows. That was that card that I made where I turned the bumblebee into, or no, turned the ladybug into a bumblebee. And I think I got so wrapped around the axle about making a bumblebee out of a ladybug that I <laughs> just completely borked everything else. Hi, Tina, appreciate you joining. Now these are just going to adhere right to these two panels. Don't you love Mango Melody popped on basic black? I mean, serious. And no, guess what? Orange and black, it's not just for Halloween anymore. Just saying. It is not. It is a beautiful color. I do not have a wet chamois. What a dork. See how well prepared I am today? By which I mean not. Hmm. This is what I get for working in the garden most of the day. Yeah, working in the garden most of the day. Fortunately, we had, um, I had corned beef left over from St. Patrick's Day, and so 
I made a little bit of corned beef hash for Wayne for dinner and that went really fast. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these little triangular here guys here and I'm gonna put a little liquid glue on them and I'm going to adhere them in the corners of my cardstock of the back, okay? So I'm totally eyeballing this, okay? I just want to make the edges around the top and the side the same and line that up just like that, okay? So not really rocket science, just a lot of gluing. Hi, Tanya from Brisbane. Appreciate you joining. And we're gonna just do another little bit of lining up right there like that. This is a good reason to use liquid glue so that you can <laughs> wiggle it a little bit. It was beautiful. I mean, it was just gorgeous today. Um, it really still is. I think it's like, yeah, it's still 63, so it's, it's very pretty out. Really pretty day. All right, now this is a little bit out of the norm. Usually I would mat my DSP on here, but I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like, I just like looking at it <laughs> when it's like this, so. That's how I did it. If you'd like to pre-mat your DSP and then put the triangles on, you can certainly do that. But I'm enjoying the pop of color on the black. It's making me so happy. And it's really easy then to see that everything is lined up like it should. So now I'm gonna take my triangles. Remember, if you have a DSP that has an up and down, you need to be thinking about the ups and the downs, but I don't. And so that made it much easier which is not my normal way. Usually I like to make things as difficult as possible, but today I decided to go crazy. Ah, Jean, nice. Very nice. Yep, pretty day. We had a good time planting today, and I could feel the deer watching us because <laughs> they have been pruning our blueberries for us for the last, uh, well, couple of years that they've been around. <laughs> they're watching us put the blueberries inside the fenced garden, and I, I know they're trying to figure out the how they're going to get in and out of there to eat my blueberries. Hopefully they won't do it until fall when it needs to be pruned anyway. Yes, it's true. I just learned today that pruning blueberries and raspberries is a good idea. I don't know where I thought I read that container plants like that did not need to be pruned, but that is what I read. I, I will swear on it. It's my story and I'm sticking to it, but apparently I am wrong. I would be swearing wrong. Hail and sunshine, very nice, <laughs> very nice. Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside and we're gonna make the back right now. And that is just going to be that piece of basic white and mango melody. And I'll go ahead and adhere, I, sh I know I said I was gonna set it aside, but I lied, I totally lied. I'm gonna take this piece of uh, one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths, or no, two and seven eighths, sorry. Two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths mango melody. And we're going to use our highly calibrated eyeball. And the, the pop of the black with the orange makes it really pretty easy to see if you're off. Okay, so just put it like that. And now we'll set it aside and close up our glue. Hi, Becky. On that piece of basic white, I am going to stamp, which stamp am I doing? You are amazing. Is that this now? Nope. Is that this now? Nope. Where is You Are Amazing? Here we go. Here's You Are Amazing. And I am stamping it in Granny Apple Green. Thanks, Jean. Yeah, I love seeing the deer too. Yesterday or the day before, it was kind of, it was really foggy. And I was making my coffee and I saw some movement out of the corner of my eye. And I looked out the kitchen window. And as I stared, I finally saw a deer just on the other side of the driveway, right behind the house. And then it's like, it's weird. You can't see them at all until you see one. And then you start to see them. It's like they come out of the mist. It was so stinking cool. It was really cool. I do love seeing them. I love having them around. But they need to leave my plants alone. That's the pact. Okay, so this is going to go in the card like so as a, di as a triangle or a diamond. So that's how, obviously, you'd kind of want to stamp your sentiment. I mean, you can stamp it different. You do you. But for me and my stamp room, we're gonna do like that. And then I'm gonna turn it over and do the other side because I totally got that all over the place. Totally got that all over the place. Let me wipe this off, which I would normally do with my wet chamois, but mm -mm, did not bring one. I have nothing wet, so 
My goodness, Mary. What a good demonstrator you are. Okay, here we go. Try it again. No wiggling. No wiggling. No wiggling. Whew. Okay, that's a relief. Cloudy and rainy in California. All right. Now I'm gonna plant. I'm gonna plant. I'm gonna <laughs> stamp some flowers on here, and I really like this. Uh, looks like a daisy to me, but I could be wrong. Just make sure I'm getting a good image. Don't have something stuck there that I didn't want. And then it's kind of random where you stamp this. You can do whatever makes you happy. And then I'm going to take my Mango Melody and stamp some little... Oh, I'm going to clean that off. That's a mess. Don't do that, Mary. You'll be making a terrible, terrible mess. I'm going to stamp this little um, center. Where am I going to stamp it? Well, I'm going to stamp it in the center of those flowers. And then I'm going to take a, the other little flower... And I'm going to stamp him kind of randomly around. Not a lot of rhyme or reason to that. Oop, that didn't go good. Hang on, let me fix it. There we go. Good enough. And then I got this idea when I was making the... Uh, there you go. Improv is good. I'm going to take this little tiny doohickey, which is probably technically a flower center, but it's going to be a decoration for me, so I'm going to just stamp it kind of about here and there, like that. And I think I'm going to do another one of those little mango guys right there, too. Little mango, another little mango guy. Like that. Okay, they're good. Okay, so that's our center, our back, our inner liner, if you would. Hey, Cindy, thank you for joining. Jenna Marie, you guys are really, yeah, we sent that weather that happened the other day. We sent that right up your way. You're welcome. Anytime. You are welcome to our yucky weather anytime. Now, we'll go ahead and adhere this to the mat, and then we can play with the fun stuff. Okay. Okay. Like so. And again, that's part of why you use liquid glue, so you can wiggle it about. And that's all there is to that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to take another piece, and look at that. It's the same exact size as the mat, and it is going to become the pop-up. So the first thing I want to do is pull my trimmer back, and I'm going to score on the diagonal not cut, score, like this, like so. And then I'm going to take that score line and I'm going to put it on the 1 and 7 8 inch mark, okay? And I'm doing that just so I can snip off that little tippy tip right there, okay? That way it fits in the card perfectly. And we'll give it a fold. And a boynish. Okay, now, this is very, very complicated. Very complicated, okay? Here's how you do this. Is everybody watching? Put your coffee down and watch now. Okay, here we go. Place uh, the little foldy thing that you just made on this mat like so, okay? And then put a little glue on it. You can actually put a little glue on it if you want ahead of time. You don't have to do it in exactly that order. You could also use tear and tape on this, but I, you know me, I like my liquid glue. Okay, so now it's laid, it's set exactly over that back, like so, and then you just close the card onto it, like that. And you can open it up so that you can give it a good rub. Give it a second to get to decide that it's going to be adhered, okay? And now you have your pop-up. Easy peasy, right? All right, next up, we're going to, I don't know why I did that. I'm going to take these uh, one and seven eighths by, I think this is one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths, yep. And one and three quarters by one and three quarters and adhere them together. And then we'll put them in place on the card front. 
easy peasy, nice and squeezy. And then we're gonna make some flowers. Yay, flowers! Yay, flowers! Yeah, yes, we, we love our flowers in the crew, that is for sure. We love our flowers in the crew. Okay, now, oh, we have one more piece. Una más, more piece. Una más, more piece. I've got one more piece of the DSP, and this was one and three quarter, or so, two and three quarters by two and three quarters, and I just cut it as a diagonal, as a little um, triangle. And we're gonna put this on our pop-up mechanism right here, like so, as such the and thusly. There we go, just like that. So we have lots and lots of polka dots everywhere, and that means it's all ready to, to decorate. So I'm gonna take these two little squares and we're going to adhere them on the front. And what I did when I, when I built this one so you can see I lined the top corner up with the top edge of that mat and the bottom corner with the edge and then vice versa, okay? So that's just a, it's just kind of a handy little thing to look at. You're gonna put glue on just half of your square. I recommend not getting too close to the halfway mark just because why push your luck? I'm just, you know, throwing that out there. Don't push your luck. And then line up the top there and the top and the point, the point and the point. Do you get the point? Are you getting the point now? Okay. And then we're going to do it at the end like this. And there's going to be a gap right there. And that is absolutely fine. Let me put it on just one side so I don't mess up here. I mean, I know it's hard for you to imagine that I might mess up, but I so do. So with such routineness that it's, it's really quite terrifying. All right, so point lined up with the bottom edge of the mat and point lined up with the edge right there. And then just give it a little press like so. Okay, now let's look at some pieces of flowers and leaves. The first time I made this, actually today when I was making it, I just cut one of everything, all the flowers in both colors, and then I cut a whole bunch of garden green or uh, granny apple green leaves because I really 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 love the leaves a lot okay and then I tried to wean it down a little bit so you can do what you like we're going to first put our um we're going to decorate the pop-up part okay so really you want to put it together after you've got it into this this level of put togetherness so that you can make sure you're not extending past the edge of the card base, but you can absolutely extend past the pop-up part, okay? So I just put those like that, and then I pick it up, turn them over, put a little glue on the back. They don't need a ton. You know this glue is really good. And then just stick them back in place like so. And you can see by holding my hand here, I'm picking up these two little squares. And so it lets me set them under there because that's where you want them. You want them under the two top squares. Okay. <clears throat> now my car, my little flower for there is going to be a Daffodil Delight large flower and then a Mango Melody middle, a Mango Melody middle. And then a little one that I'm going to pop up with a dimensional. Because you got to have a dimensional. Oh, no matter what, you got to have a dimensional somewhere on your card. It's my rule. It's just a rule. It's a thing. It's totally a thing. Okay, so this little guy is going to pop up. Oop, I got him sticked out there. He's done sticked out. He done stick. Get back in there now. Sometimes dimensionals, they go rogue. There we go. All right, now I'll just put some liquid glue on the back here. <clears throat> and we're gonna put him in place. And I just wanna kinda cover up the leaf, the leaf joinery, as it were. And then 
we'll squish them out. I want them out here more like that. There we go. Okay, so there's flower number one. And then we're gonna build a few more little flowers. I've got these two little guys, Mango Melody and um, Daffodil Delight. We're gonna put them on like that. Like that. And then I'm gonna take this little guy. You see the kind of every other, every other color thing I got going on here? It's really some high level artistry. Mm-hmm. Real high level artistry. And then one of these little dudes, these little guys come from, um, mm, where did you go? This little set right here. So you get three little flowers at once. And it's kind of fun because you get two at once and you get two at once and two at once. So it's kind of handy that, that you can do that. And they have multiples of the leaves. So there's 25 dyes in this set. 25 dyes, that's kind of remarkable. And the, the flowers you can make are just truly fun. Truly fun. You're taking notes and drawing pictures. All of this will be on my blog tomorrow, and I will about 98% guarantee that all the measurements will be right. <laughs> just, just throwing that out there. Sorry. Okay, so then we'll make our second flower. And this is another, well, I've used Mango Melody and Daffodil Delight again. Crazy. I know. And I'm just making layers. Making layers upon layers upon layers. You know me in layers. I don't like them. I, I prefer to not use layers as few layers as I can use. That's that's where I really where I really reside in my artistic endeavors. Mm -hmm. Said Mary, never. All right, and then here's the last little flower, and then we can put it together. Oh, I guess we probably ought to make a sentiment right quick, huh? Let's do that. Okay, these guys can sit and think about what they've done for just a second. Yes, you do have a moral obligation to support the dimensional makers of the world. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, we're gonna use congrats, you're so fancy now. A friend of mine that I worked with back before I retired from the army, he used to say, you're so fancy. <laughs> so every time I read that sentiment, I think of him. Yes, I do. All right, so we'll stamp this. Now, this is a piece of basic white that was cut with, yes, the handy label die in the Pierced Bloom set. So out of the 27 dies, you also get a, a sentiment die. I'm just throwing that out there for you to know and me to find out. Okay, and we'll see if we can make this straight. I did cut two just in case, but let's see if we can do it right the first time. Maybe, hold your breath, hold your breath, hold your breath. Yep. Whew. That worked. This is actually live live. It's the live live version of liveness. There's a live version of live. Okay, so to start, let's go ahead and put our sentiment on. And I'm gonna put him on with some liquid glue. And I'm just kind of putting him on this bottom doohickey right here like that. And then we're gonna put a couple of leaves. Why do I only have two flowers made? Because I put away all the flowers. Let's make another card, another flower. I'm gonna make another flower, okay? Let's make this flower right here. Let's see, we're gonna start with a Mango Melody, and then we're gonna put a Daffodil Delight on the middle. And then let's do one of these guys like this. Good thing I cut all of the card, all of the pieces I need, even if I forgot to use them. Jeez, Mare, what a Dorcas, a Dorcas. Okay, there we go. Now we've got as many flowers as we need. So let's go ahead and put a, we're gonna see where our leaves wanna be. We're gonna go like there, and then we'll have one out here. Okay, and then we're gonna put, let's see, let's put this guy here, like that. I have glue on my finger, apparently. 
And then this one that I just made because I just realized I needed it, we'll put it here. I'm going to slide this out just a little bit. Okay, so that's perfect. What I'll do is just pick up the flowers. And then I'm just kind of keeping my vision where that is. I know that that little dot right there is about where I want it. And so I'm putting my glue on, a little bit of glue, and coming back to right there. Okay. And again, what happens if you put it on different than your dry fit? It doesn't matter. As long as it's close, then it was worth doing, right? And then we'll get this guy on. I love these flowers. I really am a fan of stitched things, and this piercing is the equivalent of stitched stuff without having to actually stitch anything, which I think is pretty stinking awesome. I'm, I'm a bigger fan of not having to stitch anything because me and, and sewing machines, mm -mm. it's not a good thing. It's not good. Okay, now to make this one, we're going to put a leaf here and then a leaf of some size here. Well, since I've got this one out, we can use it. We're going to put those like so. And then we're going to put a little bow. This is a little long today, guys. I'm sorry. But I hope it'll be worthwhile and it'll make you want to make one of these little cards. Okay, so I'm just putting those down with some liquid glue. Okay, and that can set for just a second. Right? A shot of flowers. See? Right at my fingertips. I knew there was a reason that I cut extras. Actually, when I was putting the, I was, you know, making sure I had all the pieces and parts for the flowers ahead of time, apparently I forgot an entire flower. Okay. All right, so I have some white baker's twine, and I'm just doubling up like that. See what I've done there? Doubled up like that. And then I'll make a bow with the two pieces. Like that. And then I can kind of, you know, pull it out and make it as pretty as I need it to be. Now, if you are a bow wizard, a bow wizard, a wizard of bows, which is different than a wizard of Oz entirely, but it's about the same, you could pre-cut this even. You could be crazy and pre-cut your twine. I think that's a little crazy. See why I don't do that? Because I don't get it right the first time. So we'll go like this. We'll try it in. All right, that looks better just from the get-go. That looks better from the jump. And then take your scissors, cut that off, cut that right there, and now you have a double simple bow. So this is a double simple bow. Two pieces of thread, just a regular old overhand bow. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to adhere it right about here after I make it tidier. It's looking a little bit too, this is not my Farrah Fawcett bow. I don't want it to look like Farrah Fawcett's hair. I want it to look like a dang bow on a wreath. So straighten up, bow. Straighten up. I'm going to put this right here. And what's going to happen is once I get that on, I'm going to put my final flower right over the top. So kind of do a little adjusting. Right there is where I want that bow to go. And I will use a glue dot, a dot of glue, if you will, to adhere that, like so. Now, you need to stay down. You are well and truly stuck, and you need to just acknowledge it. And then I'm going to take a couple of dimensionals, and I'm going to take a couple of dimensionals. And I'm going to put one right there, and I'm going to put one right there, and I'm going to make sure that I have not exceeded my flower. There we go. I can go like that. And then I'm going to pull the covers off. Trust me when I tell you, you want to pull those covers off. Ask me how I know. And then I'll do a double stack. I always like to do a double stack of dimensionals over the top of a bow so that I don't get a bow bump. I don't like bow bumps. I'm not a big fan of bow bumps. 
This die set is the Pierced Blooms die set, and it's on page 165 in the annual catalog. 25 dies, $37. What a bargain. All right, so then we're going to go ahead and just make sure that our flower is on, looks pretty, you can't see the dimensionals, and it doesn't cover the sentiment all at once. It's like patting your head and rubbing your stomach, only much easier. All right, and then we can just pull these out like that. And the final touch for the card, are you guys like, what in the world she's taking forever tonight, is going to be some rhinestones. It's a rhinestone cowboy. Bum, bum, and I forgot I wanted to put another couple of little flowers. See, you can go crazy with the flowers. I'm just saying that you can go crazy with the flowers. I'm going to use one of these because I've got it. I've got it. And I'm putting them on the edge of the, down here on the sentiment because they're so cute. There's not enough flowers in the world. Do you know that that is not actually a song? Just, I mean, you might have not known it until I just told you that because it sounded like it should have been a song, I know. <clears throat> but it's not. So is it weird that I planted violas today and in the same bed I planted Brussels sprouts? And Amy, you don't need to say anything. But I know you hate Brussels sprouts, but if you liked Brussels sprouts, is it weird that I planted them together like that? I think, I think that makes perfect sense. All right, I'm going to put a couple of the rhinestones in these. There's not enough rhinestones, not enough flowers in the world. That is not even a thing. There's no such thing as too many flowers. Did you know that? That's not even a thing. Look it up. There's no, there is no citation for that in the dictionary. Try to find too many flowers and <clears throat> you won't. All right, and so you can see I'm using a kind of a combination of the medium rhinestones and the small rhinestones, depending on where the rhinestones are going. <clears throat> I missed any rhinestones. I think I have rhinestoned. I have bedazzled this card. All right, so there you go. Pop-up corner card. Fits in a medium-sized envelope just perfectly. Probably a little thick, so you're going to need some extra postage. Let's go ahead and uh, make ourselves an envelope. Right quick like a bunya, because it ain't done until there is one. Just saying, ain't done until it is one. And I am going to stamp some more of those pretty flowers. Uh, right? Veggies and flowers go great together. Unless, I did read, I should not plant my Brussels sprouts with, like, in the same bed as the blueberries or the raspberries. And I also should not plant tomatoes with the blueberries or raspberries. So I'll be trying to not, you know, screw up that companion planting because nobody wants that right thank you trisha all right so now some calypso coral where did you go calypso coral calypso coral. oh over here okay i'm gonna plant plant i have got planting on my brain today apparently i'm gonna put a couple of these little centers in mango melody one of my favorite color combos ever and then stamp a few of these little flower dudes kind of around like that and then I'm gonna I'm going to fix that boo-boo <clears throat> with my handy granny apple green dot doohickeys a dot doohickey I'm gonna stamp him right there and then I'm gonna stamp him right there and then I'm going to stamp one right there. There we go. D you guys are singing the Partridge Family song right now, aren't you? Yeah, I know you are because I started to sing it in my head when <laughs> I saw this. I was like, come on, girl, get down, get happy. Tell me y'all wanted one of those school buses. Uh, let's see. We'll put this on now. Just don't plant the Brussels sprouts. Oh, yes. I planted six Brussels sprouts, and I'm going to tell you what, if if anybody had told 
15-year-old me that I would ever plant Brussels, if I would ever cook Brussels sprouts voluntarily, let alone plant them, I would have just fallen over laughing like a hyena, because no. But I have broken the code, and I now love them. I even have some in my fridge right now, right as we speak. Hey. All righty, here we go. We're just going to cut this off. This was just another piece of the Pattern Party DSP. And we are so close to being done that we are. And there you go. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me for 40 minutes. My goodness, this is shades of the old days back when I just yacked and yacked and carried on and did everything online. Well, I don't smell it first off. Just saying, I eat it. I just like put it in my mouth and eat it. And if you roast it with some balsamic vinegar and a little bit of maple syrup, mmm, 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 mmm. Ooh, shredding them. That sounds really good. A little bugs? Oh, no. Oh, I hope not. I'm really hoping not. But, God, bugs are a pain. They really are. All right, guys. I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. And thank you so, so much for spending part of it with me. We'll see you next Thursday for my Facebook Live at 1 o'clock on Thursday. See ya. Ta.